Spirit, for such a gracious day given to humanity. Almighty God, we thank you for your grace and mercies this morning. Lord Jesus, as you save the situation at Wedding and Canaan, please intervene. in our lives also. Thank you again for your concern about us. As your children and friends. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved and friends, in the Lord Jesus Christ. How long has it been since you had a good laugh and joy? A hilarious and extremely amusing a playful time of fun with Christian friends is what Holy Spirit may want you and I to celebrate. Indeed, Jesus wants us to rejoice, celebrate, and enjoy life. Jesus in John chapter 2 verses 1 to 11 at the start of his ministry together with his mom and his disciples have all been invited to a wedding 
in the village of Canaan. Indeed, it's a matter of honor. Wedding feasts in Israel could last for a whole week. Streams of visitors had to be entertained. Apparently, the amount of wine needed for the wedding has been probably underestimated or belittled. Sometimes a dilemma of trying to estimate how many people will be at a particular function is challenging. There is the ever-present fear that supplies will run out before everyone has been served. Imagine the master of ceremonies whispering to you in the middle of your wedding reception that food and drinks have run out with half the guests yet to be served. What an embarrassment to you. How you will appreciate such an intervention as Jesus. The problem is that the wine has run out and there appears to be no solution. And John tells us in John chapter 2 verse 3 and when they ran out of wine the mother of Jesus said to him they have no wine. Friends, that observation and diagnosis shows there are times when problems arise and troubles come our way unexpected. Mary, the mother of Jesus, brings the problem to Jesus. Indeed, through Mary's sensitive awareness, Jesus came to know about the bridegroom's difficult situation or predicament. How sensitive are we to other people's needs? Just as Mary had this sensitive awareness to the needs of the guests present at the wedding. Seeing the problem, Jesus arrives at a solution. However, we must also not expect Jesus to work according to our program. Therefore, in verses 6 to 8, Jesus tells the servant to fill six stone jars with water and bring to the chief steward. Jesus can change any situation if he is given the opportunity to do so. Indeed, Jesus is even concerned about little things in your life and my life that when God takes something that is ordinary, he makes it into something wonderful. By the time the chief steward tastes it, John tells us in verse 9 of John chapter 2 that when the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from but the servant who had drawn the water knew the master of the feast called the bridegroom verse 10 and he said to him every man at the beginning sets out the good wine and when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior, you have kept the good wine until now. The water had become wine. Jesus is the true chief steward of our lives. For John, the real bridegroom present at the wedding is Jesus. We must learn to wait for his time. And if we learn to obey his instructions, however unreasonable they might seem to us, we will see God's glory in our lives. 
Jesus does not only change water into wine, but he also transformed jars. God got something much better for you now. God will never remove something in your life if he didn't have something better to replace it. God will never leave you empty, my brother, my sister. He will replace everything you lost. John described Jesus' miracles as signs that reveal the salvation, abundance, and new life now present in the world through Jesus, revealing Jesus' glory as God's Son through whom salvation enters the world. Some circumstances are beyond your control, yes, but not beyond your ability to worry over. Do as Mary did. Bring it to the Lord who cares. The bridegroom always does great things for the bride. Most often, we are the ones who are not present to Jesus. The reality is that Jesus is always with us. Jesus is ever present in our lives. He calls upon us to obey he calls upon you and I to believe and he will meet our needs. Good morning and stay blessed. Bye-bye. When call